I see runners um, getting ready to run a race. And I hear the word endure until the end, not in the middle or between, but finish your race. I heard the Lord say some of you will finish early. Some of you will endure to the end. Some of you will run your race willingly. Some of you will be pushed forward. And the way I see them being pushed forward is by the wind. The city of Matia, tornado. The Lord is telling us to stay at his feet. Prevailing wind up ahead. You will see it. You will know it. You will understand who I am. Look forward to it. I will push you forward in this time ahead. I will expose things and wicked imaginations. Some of you exalt yourselves above me. You will learn not to be compromised by wicked ways and agendas. You will learn you will not be controlled. You will be armored up. That's an interesting word to use, Lord. You will not decay. You will have a life and life more abundantly. You will speak my word and go forward. Some of you are prophets. See, Amatia. Then I see the word um, evangelist. Some of you are teachers. Some of you are learners of the word. I see the word uh, revelation. Enjoyment is coming to my people. I see tall buildings go filled in front of them. Kind of like a fence, a tall fence on the field. It's like a wired fence when you probably climb over. Facilities? Um, some of you will have learning facilities. Why these facilities uh, have this type of offense, I don't know. Maybe I'm a TI. Um, but the word persecution um, keeps coming up. I hear learning projects. Saramatai. Be aware of what's going around you. Many people will be compromised in this hour. Many people will regret. They will not finish their race to pluck the weeds out of the um, plant so that the plant will grow. He's saying weeds cause hindrance and delay. Transformity is taking, okay, placing your mind. So whatever these weeds are, they're like bad doctrine, lies. And the Lord is saying his standards we must keep. Your portion is great, more than you can imagine. Your portion is overflowing. When you stay in my word and heed to my, my warnings, I will show you more and I hear great grace more than you could have imagined. Get rid of every wayward way. Turn aside from them. Come straight ahead now. I see Jesus on the straight path and he's just standing there in front of us. It's a really skinny path, the straight and narrow path. Hallelujah. He's giving me Psalms 91, but that verse about um, you will see the destruction of the wicked. Okay, before I heard tsunamis are coming, I seen like um, a spaceship craft or whatever, Nephilim crafts in the sky. He said, E.T. See, I'm not, oh yeah, that gives me extraterrestrial, celestial beings from above. Stargate? Stargate? Uh, okay, he keeps saying Stargate. Wow. He says Stargate will be open. And I'm like, what? And I look it up and it's a portal it says the stargate is actually our milky way galaxy and it is the spin of the earth that appears to propel you through it what does that mean Where magnetic i feel like he's saying something with a magnetic field oh same metiae hmm i'm being i don't know if you guys ever saw um that that cern thing that performance they did when they was opening up cern you guys know what I'm talking about, where they dressed up and then did that demonic thing? Oh, really? Yeah, good thing. I, I do. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I just saw that. I hear portals. And I hear the word demise. I hear access and keys. Portals will be opened. Can you um ask the Lord what is he talking about? Because we prophesy in part. Sure, give me one second. I hear portals are opening. I see a black circle in the sky. And it looks like um, love is God. He made a video of something very similar the other day. Rete kederabasa, rapa rekuroso. 
he said he saw a dark circle in the sky and it was made up of tiny little i guess demons or something like that he said they were so small but they made up the entire circle and i believe somebody had like footage of it or something like that which appeared to be circles forming so he started telling people look they are uh, concentric circles uh, forming in the skies and in reality i don't know what in the heck is a concentric circle but that's what i said in this uh, experience this dream experience that there are concentric circles forming in the skies and so we went out to observe it a little bit better and uh, there were actually more than one of them and so we were all captivated by this uh, unprecedented uh, occurrence these anomalies in the skies and so i was noticing them along with uh, many others paying attention so these uh, circles turned out to be portals and then suddenly out of nowhere these dark look what looked like clouds at first or darkness just darkness started pouring out of the, the, the these circles or portals in the skies and the darkness came down really quickly and so people started panicking and we ran and started looking for uh, cover. And I hear portals are opening. So wickedness is ramping up. Speak me while I'm near, hear my voice. Pray for understanding. Wisdom, discernment, in deceptive times, the enemy seeks to deceive you, leading you astray with fake news, false stories. I hear missing pieces to the puzzle. Pray, all of you hear my voice. Seek me harder, they come higher. Or gain more knowledge. Hear what I'm telling you. The words I've given you to speak. The words I've given you to preach. I see King. Yes, you are my mouthpiece. Speak my word. Seek me harder. Like never before, now is the time. Perilous times up ahead. Hey, I just wanted to jump on tonight and share this dream that I had with you all a few weeks ago. I prayed before I went to sleep. As you all know, some of us fast and pray often. And in my dream, God gave me a vision. And in my vision, I saw this gigantic, humongous clock. But the clock didn't just have time on it. It had days, the years, and months. And the time that was at the very top, it was teetering towards the next towards this time right and the time of the day of the month had a message and it read end of suffer 23rd June now I believe God is going to move in such a way that before the end of this month Everyone will, will see it. Something is, I believe something's going, going to happen that everyone on this earth will be impacted by it. Don't trust me. Take everything you hear. Every word. Take it to God. And seek his face. I see Nina. Repe, repe. Step out in boldness. Sing my songs. Speak my word louder. 
saw like the church as like a symbol like for what we're doing for the what we do for God, you know? Um, like striking down. Keep seeing all these like vessels almost. Like breaking them to pieces, like smashing them. Um, like and they're like like idols. There are all these idols in the inside of them is like basically seeing that those are those like we're like smashing to pieces all these idols that were built up. Um, like that were that were within us, but we're doing it like we're doing it first within ourselves because repentance first need um, be be in the the house of God. The judgment begins in the house of God, so we need to make sure that we're clean, and then it's gonna be judgment on the earth, right outside of the church. So like we're like right now we're breaking all these idols in our heart that we built up through generations and whatever um, through time but the way that we're hitting them we're smashing them to pieces like with an axe like like a super intensely like a I don't know like a like just with this in, in passion like fierceness is how I'm seeing it and um, they're shattering to pieces. Roar, lions, roar.